Hey guys, it's Hannah. What is bipolar 2 disorder? We have the textbook definitions everywhere online, but what does it feel like to live with bipolar disorder? And that's what I'm gonna talk about today. So if you feel like you're alone with these emotions, trust me, you are not. Emotions are my foundation that I grow off of. I look at nothing on the surface. What I say, how I behave, what I feel, what I think is all based off emotions. Every morning of every day, you immediately feel something. You don't know how you're gonna feel. And it's like this suspense that you're waiting for. But constantly throughout the day, you're feeling something. I know that for me, it's a constant emotional roller coaster. There is no stopping. The amount of thoughts, ideas, and feelings that I have in one day is probably equivalent to someone who doesn't have bipolar disorders, thoughts, and feelings for a lifetime. It's constantly moving and going, which is exhausting. And then there are some days where I'm completely blank. And then there are other days where I'm so high, I can, I can barely think straight. I can't sleep, do anything. The way we, our mind is built, we constantly get disappointed in ourselves because our mind is racing so fast. We're always beating ourselves down. It's so hard when you're constantly going to ever be settled in what you're doing. And I've thought of myself as a failure. You know, I've had self-esteem problems because not everyone else thinks like that. You feel misunderstood and you feel alone. You know, when people ask me, how did you feel today? I'm like, I don't know, because you lose track of your emotions. You could wake up extremely depressed and then something else happens and you're high and you're low and they're all over the place. But I've been extremely empathetic and had these thoughts and feelings since I was a kid. I know nothing different. It's like being born on a wave of emotion and we try to fight against it, but we end up struggling. So I've kind of learned to ride that wave. Um, because in my world, in my life with bipolar 2 disorder, that's the way I survive. What does bipolar disorder look like to you? How does it feel to live with bipolar disorder? Please share that down below in the comment section. And also share this video if you know anybody who's struggling to accept their diagnosis of bipolar disorder. Because if you know, when you look online, those definitions are really overwhelming. When you can relate to someone, it helps explain it so much better. I look forward to seeing what you have to say. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next week. Bye.